Yeah, uh, Jonathan. Bob, do you think that Senator Obama opened himself up uh, to the criticism from Rick Davis and the McCain campaign by making the personal link between Senator McCain and the tactics of that fear may be, in those three That may be true, but that week. was not what my column was about. Right. My column was about something broader than one comment here or, or one comment from the other side. My comment was about a pattern, and I think that we are in an election campaign that is historic for many reasons, and not simply because Barack Obama has a shot at winning the White House. It was historic because of the run that Hillary Clinton has made, but it was also it's also historic because we're coming to the end of this George W. Bush era. The United States is in trouble. There's an opportunity for the U.S. to pivot, whether it's John McCain who gets elected mm -hmm. or Barack Obama mm -hmm. get, who gets elected. It's an opportunity for the country to pivot into a new era. I, and we yeah. should be focusing on the really important issues facing the country and not just have a campaign that is all about race, race, race from now till November. Let, let, I want to go to Pat Buchanan in a minute, but first let me ask before I do that. Did, did you all see, because I didn't, did you all see what Bob saw at, uh, in the beginning of that ad? Did you pick, pick that up? I did. I saw a shade of it. I, I did not see the... Uh, but you didn't even see the phallic symbols. symbol, so... I didn't see that. But I, did, I, saw I did not two, see the Washington uh, Monument, I, nor did I see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Okay, but... Or I if it's not the Leaning Tower, the what was it? Oh, the victory column. The victory no. column, yeah. I did but, not... Uh, yeah, there we go. I, yeah, but... No, there we go. Excuse out. me, why, I, why, why are I they there? I told Bob before we came out, I didn't see it at all. I was blind to it. I saw it in the Harold Ford ad because it was mm -hmm. so obvious. Yeah, but because I even she took said, little, Harold, right. call me. Yeah. Right, right. But that was no, pegged so, to a specific incident they were referring to. I where you I just, think I what you're I saying is more... I didn't see it. I saw something else. I, by seeing Britney Spears and Paris Hilton, I saw vacuous, valueless, right. um, stars empty. for no reason, yeah. empty. Yeah. That's what I saw. Let me ask you about this. Because Republicans have been charged with this for some time, and he brought mm -hmm. up Nixon. You were there. Um, Bob's yeah, charge, said the party Bob's was charges, doing that. Yeah, has, quote, uh, Republicans have viciously exploited race for decades. Certainly there was the Nixon Southern strategy. Did that not appeal to w what happened in 65 and 66 with civil rights legislation? Well, no, the Wallace, of course, won the, uh, the Deep South against us. We almost lost the election because of him in 68. And in 1972, Richard Nixon got the highest percentage of the African-American vote we've gotten since the Eisenhower years. He got 18 percent of it nationally and 25 percent in the South. Did we get the Wallace vote? Of course we did. These were white Democrats completely antagonized and alienated from great society liberalism. They were voting for Frank Rizzo in Philadelphia, they are voting for Richard Day Daly and Jay Daly in Chicago, and they voted for Wallace in the South. You go hunting where the ducks are. Richard Nixon built the Great Society. You take a look at his record on on civil rights was better than Kennedy's and Johnson. He had the black capitalism idea, the Philadelphia plan, one thing after another. In that White House, let me tell you, Bob, night and day we were working on how we could get from the Goldwater vote of about eight percent up to 15 or 20 because we knew if we got it we had a landslide. I think that's very unfair to Richard Nixon and Spiro Agnew. There's no doubt we were populist conservative, but to say they ran a racist campaign, I think it's unfair. I didn't unfair. say they Let ran a racist about campaign. Ford. Wait a minute. We should, we should not have that on the record, because I didn't say that in the column, and I didn't say here that Richard Nixon ran a racist campaign. We should be clear on that. Go ahead. All right, well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me follow up. Look, you mentioned Harold Ford. Now, I've run in Louisiana. I've won in South Carolina. Close races, let me tell you, and Joe is one in Pensacola. If Joe Scarborough or Pat Buchanan had been at Hugh Hefner's Playboy Club, our opponents would have draped it around our neck in the Bible Belt, and they'd have finished us off with it. It's a tough political game, but Harold Ford got the same treatment we would have gotten. Uh, I disagree. I think when you have, um, when we've had uh, white male candidates, who have had problems along these lines, sexual, they, you know, sexual problems of one kind or another, sexual encounters of one kind or another. I have not seen broad political ads where you've had scantily clad women and you know had them out there um, in these ads run by national parties. I, I think that we need to go back to the comments that Lee Atwater made. Lee Atwater said that he he uh, he knew and was part of the Southern strategy that the Republican Party um, had. Experienced 
exploited. And before he died, he said that he had regretted uh, his role in it. You know, and, and just one well, other God, thing, Lee, I, I want... really wish yeah, somebody yeah. would answer the question. I think it's really important. Why are those two phallic symbols in this ad run against Barack Obama right after we see the images of Britney Spears well, and Paris Hilton? You know, yeah, Pat, answer well, I that. I may be obtuse, but I didn't see him. <laughs> I, I may be obtuse, but I didn't see him. We didn't see him. Run, run, run the ad again when and I take see a look Paris at it. Hilton, Hi. When I see Paris Hilton and Britney Spears, I'm not looking at the background. <laughs> 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 well, you know, uh, Bob, I appreciate you coming on to, to explain do. this, and that's that's very fascinating. Uh, I didn't I didn't see that. Sort of like when they used to flash popcorn in old movie theaters. So I guess. But they weren't aiming that at it, you. You need to keep that in mind. Yeah, who are I mean, they if aiming you're, that if at? You're, they're aiming that at at people who might have a problem with a black guy being in the White House. I talked to voters in in Tennessee in the Democratic primary. These are Democratic voters, not Republican or or, yeah. mil, or uh, independent. Voters. And they're trying to make up their mind about Barack Obama, and and they're trying, and, and uh, the McCain campaign is trying to define him in a certain way. Risky. Maybe you don't want to put this right. guy in the White House. And okay. if they have a, a, wow. a little subtext going on that they're a little worried about interracial romances and that sort of thing, boom, then that could be the, 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 the deciding factor. Bob, it was fascinating. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> what a